injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. wrote those famous words behind bars in 1963. I'm in Birmingham because injustice is here. King was arrested in Alabama that April for leading a march protesting racial segregation. At the jail, correspondence arrived for the civil rights hero. He signed for them in a logbook. First, it was a letter. A couple days later, he got a Western Union telegram. And then on this side of the page, is where he had to uh, they would put next down and then he would have to sign it. These historical documents containing a dozen of King's signatures are now in the hands of Scott Mussel, an Americana specialist at Hicks Auctions in York, Pennsylvania. Every time I sit and think about it for any amount of time, all the hair on my arm stands up straight up. <laughs> WorthPoint CEO Will Seipel felt about the same after his skepticism wore off. An anonymous woman asked him to research the potential value of her family's unique possession. It's like, oh yeah, right, and I found the Holy Grail. The men sought help from signature authenticators and another expert from Australia. Seipel flew in the woman's family to his Sandy Springs, Georgia offices just outside Atlanta. They handled the four pages with gloves. You're looking at a piece of history from one of the, the most remarkable civil rights events. I mean, you can put this up right up there with Rosa. The family said a Birmingham jail employee was ordered to throw out the documents, but kept them instead and gave them to a friend. Selling them at auction was a hard decision. The minimum bid was $10,000. The documents sold for more than 13 times that last night. The auctioneer said this page of history ultimately received the respect it deserves. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Ricky Klaus in Atlanta.